I, mean, I could pretty much summarize it in terms of like their specialty and specialty tools that are within Epic. There are some tools in Epic that are really like really strenuous, like in terms of like a workload. Yeah. You need to know a little bit more, um, you know, and it's not, it's not like specialty based. It's more so like, Hey, like um, you know, it takes more time to do this. So then what Epic does is they just create a module for it. So then, you know, you have a specific analyst for that. Mm-hmm. Um, but generally the, it is usually based off of like specialties. You have, you know, wisdom, you have bones, you have like, you know, these are like dentists, mm-hmm. you have orthopedic. We could just make like a, so modules ba- are based off of tools that are needed, right? So you have Epic have tools that are needed. So for example, um, you know, you have folks that do billing, you have folks that do labs, you have folks that do radiology, you have folks that do you know specific um, you know, cardiology tools. Um, you have folks that do um, registration. You have folks that do admission, and then you have folks that do reporting. Uh, folks that handle uh, my chart, you know, um, my chart essentially is what a patient portal is um, for on Epic side, and you know, these are all different tools and not really a specialty, but there are two from what I could see, there are two things that, um, you know, Epic does. It's like they break out based off of tools that is needed and also based off of um, specialties. So on the specialty side, um, you would, it would be, you know, hey, cardiology, you have Cupid. For bones, you have orthopedics. For wisdom, you have dentists. You know, for ambulatory, ambulatory is like the most general, um, uh, most general module where, you know, you're essentially doing everything, but there is no specialty, like, you know, really tied to it. And then you have Beacon, which is like, essentially all these like specialty modules are like um, mostly seen in the outpatient side. And it's just an addition to the ambulatory module itself. And then you have inpatient, which is on the hospital side, which they treat patients differently from the folks in the clinics. And, um, you know, and then we just mentioned ASAP, which is the emergency department, that they have different tools that they need, right? So you have specialty reasons why different modules exist. You have specialties and you also have different tools that are needed. So not really people that see patients, but deal with the back end of patient information, um, like patient insurance. You have patient uh, reporting for, you know, uh, the higher ups where they could track data to see, you know, what's working, what's not. And it, the reporting aspect works like in different ways, you know, like it's both clinically and for operations. And you also have, um, yeah, essentially like uh, just to like sum it up, you know, there are t- like from what I could see, there are two things, you know, tools that are needed to uh, make the, make the, like make the hospital function. So pretty much operations and then tools that are needed for specialties for clinical care. So essentially Epic modules have uh, different basis of like why they are separated out in different modules. And you have on the clinical, uh, clinical care side, you know, you have different specialties that will require different uh, tools and you don't want, you know, someone that's from the ER to see stuff that, you know, someone from oncology sees because that you know you that person that you are will really use the same tools as the person that's in oncology or a person that is a dentist use the same you know tools as a, someone that's in um you know in the inpatient side so that in itself in itself um you know it's like the, they break it down by clinical care specialties and then they all they're also on the other side on the back end where you have to break it down based off of um you know hospital operations right what what makes the hospital function in itself you know so this would include uh like cadence for you know registration and scheduling and then you have uh, you know billing you have you know hospital billing and then you have professional billing and then you have um you know, reporting where analytics is really important for both clinical care and operations to see, you know, what, what works, what doesn't work. You have tools in the back end for um, essentially like also like the, like for, like we mentioned bridges, you know, um, you know, what, what is connecting 
this um, this uh, downstream system to Epic and making sure that the information is flowing correctly from one side to another via HL7. We, we spoke about a gradient, you know, specific radiology, and then you have, um, you have, uh, you know, beaker specific to labs. So that's just usually how uh, things are broken down. So if you are come, if you are new, you've never used Epic before, and you have a specific skill set that is specific in a specialty department, like you definitely want to mention that in um, your resumes. You want to mention it when you're interviewing that, hey, I know how to do this, this, and this, and this. And like the only factor that's pretty much missing, um, you're not going to say that, hey, like, oh, the only factors I'm missing is Epic, but like more so, like, hey, like, I know how to do this, I know how to do this, this, and this with this software. Like, you know, you have to make it more IT and clinical, not only clinical, like you have to say, hey, like even if you're using other uh, systems like all scripts or, you know, anything else, but like, hey, like, yeah, I was in all scripts. I was, place, I was placing, um, you know, orders for this patient using this, this, and this. And, you know, I have a general sense. I was, um, you know, and if you, there are possibilities, if you're in the clinical side, take on a role that are, uh, that is more IT, like, hey, do you want to be an epic champion? Do you want to be, I don't know what the Oscar equivalent is. Like, do you want to be that go-to person that, you know, handles all the IT stuff? Um, so when you have that and you mention it, like, uh, you know, it just, you, it just, um, you know, shines on your resume. You don't, you can't say clinical stuff only clinical stuff because you're interviewing with people that are not clinical or people that are essentially have been doing IT in a really long time and they haven't done clinical in a long time. So you want to pretty much like combine it in a sense. Does that make sense? Like I just mentioned, um, you know, ASAP is an emergency department module where it may have like so all of most epic modules have similar functionality to some degree but then it branches out to like specialty um sort of like activities uh like so specialty um you know tools that these specific modules uses so for asap you have different modules specific for the er i mean let me repeat that uh specific tools that are specific for the ER where it allows uh, providers, you know, nurses, um, assistants, um, you know, doctors, whoever to actually see patients more efficiently. Then we have the ambulatory one, which is the, the patients that go to the clinics. Um, you know, ambulatory is actually, I believe, like the first module that most hospitals go live with. It is the first module I think Epic did create. Um, it is so most hospitals would have this uh, done maybe like 15 years ago, um, like those that adopted um, Epic early on. Epic ambulatory has um, essentially just pretty much it's like the base of um, all like I guess provider patient patient facing. Um, record keeping for Epic, essentially. Like uh, we use ambulatory as like a base. It's always good to join the ambulatory team first because you learn a lot of how everything is structured and then you branch out to different teams where you, know, you have an idea similar to what uh, goes on. And then we have, judging from the screen, ClinDoc, which is pretty much inpatient. Um, so inpatient generally just like um, like I said, it just helps with uh, different uh, tools, different way that uh, things are structured. Um, you know, all these modules, they have different ways of like billing. They have different ways of, um, you know, placing labs, like different lab orders. I mean, it's a similar way of placing lab orders, but like, you know, a different way that it's, it looks like um, on the screen itself. Um, Epic Beacon is essentially an oncology specific specialty it is similar to ambulatory so usually you have hospitals that have uh, individuals that do both ambulatory and beacon um beacon would just have like an extra like tool 
it would be like pretty much 90% of what ambulatory is. And then the 10% would have like a specific, like a beacon tool on it. Um, Epic Bugsy is for infection control. Um, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know more to say that it, it helps with, uh, you know, data analysis, uh, you know, to keep in track of like, uh, uh, patients, populations that have, um, you know, specific, uh, diseases or viruses or, you know, uh, epidemics, you know, um, all that data that is actually, um, integrated. Um, Epic Beaker is, is it, it is a, a lab system, but the Epic lab system, um, there are two different modules. One is for clinical pathology and the other one is for anatomical uh, pathology. So essentially the difference would be uh, more so like general labs versus, you know, pathology. And yeah, uh, it is pretty comparable to other lab systems that are in place like soft labs or, you know, um, SunQuest or anything like that. Epic Bones is something I do not work closely with. I am guessing it is just, like I said, just a specialty. It has specialty tools that are specific for orthopedics. Um, Epic Bridges is a big module where it's for uh, pretty much interfacing of what comes in and out of Epic. And, you know, it uses a lot of HL7. Um, so you definitely need to know how to use HL7 um, segments and um, all that good stuff. Epic Cadence is pretty much a registration and um, admission and registration, but not, not really admission. Um, pretty much registration, especially for like outpatient, um, where you just set up uh, appointments with your doctor and making sure uh, insurance and everything is good prior to um, a patient's visit. You have Epic Care Everywhere, which is for essentially uh, having external hospitals and you know pretty much sharing uh, patient data confidentially through Epic. Yeah, so the other way around, yes, you can use specific modules. So for example, there are hospitals that uh, go live with... Um, you know, at, um, ambulatory, right? So ambulatory is usually the first, usually the first one that actually goes live and, um, you know, their facilities can purchase it. There are some specialties that are like ambulatory, especially like clinics that don't really use, like can't afford the whole thing. So they'll just use a portion of a module through, um, you know, a partnership with a hospital. I'm not too sure about, um, the whole operations of it, but I'm just basing it off of my experience and what I've seen. But um, I may be wrong. Um, there may be uh, different contract changes, but Epic does. Well, you have to learn, you know, how the system operates for hospitals because Epic is highly customized and um, you have, you know, different hospitals working differently, but no, the similarities is what pretty much got you the job, right? And your 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 job is specific to projects. So the reason that you got a job will probably be because you know how to do that specific project in another hospital, right? Or something similar. Mm-hmm.